Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our composer's concert uh, this night, February 19th, 2021. Uh, the students have been working really hard. Uh, they have a great program for you. I just wanted to mention on behalf of my colleague, Will Cooper and myself, uh, in the middle of the concert, uh, you will hear three consecutive solo flute pieces. And um, I just wanted to mention that these pieces are a result of a, an assignment that I gave the students uh, in a class that they take with me called the Composition Seminar. Uh, we listened to a recording of the first part of Stravinsky's great ballet, Rite of Spring. And after the recording was over, I asked each of them to write for solo flute, uh, anything that they wanted, just in some sort of response to either the music itself or perhaps uh, something that they felt while listening to it or some sort of observation, perhaps of a musical idea that they found interesting. Uh, those are probably the most recent pieces on tonight's program. Uh, so um, just a word that some of the pieces are going to be introduced by the composers themselves, and uh, we have program notes for other pieces. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hope you enjoy the concert. so much for taking your time and coming to the composer's concert. Now I want to introduce my piece, Nature. I compose something about nature because I feel really connected to it. The first movement is called Breeze. Every time when I'm standing on the balcony, I can feel the breeze and I can also see the trees swaying with the breeze and the image is really pretty. And the second movement is called forest. Forest makes me think of the small animals. Every day I wake up and I open the window, I can hear the birds singing. And I also miss the small animals on Wana Hill campus, the cute rabbits and squirrels. The third movement is called snow. By coincidence, when I started to write this movement, it was snowy outside of the window. It was really pretty and romantic. These are my inspirations. And now I want to say thank you to Mr. Brown for being so supportive. And I also want to say thank you to the nature because it's so tolerant and many wonderful things exist in the nature. Hope you could think of some images while listening to my piece. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.
So you're about to hear three short pieces uh, that each of them have very unique characteristics. And uh, the first piece is called uh, Wandering Man's Hum. And uh, it's the only slow movement all of those three pieces. And uh, the melody line in the right hand is very lyrical and uh, singable. And also uh, it gives people a very lonely feel. That's the, also the reason why I name it the Wandering Man's Hum. And the second piece is the piece called Triplets. It's a very short piece and uh, as you can see from the title it's, uh, there are triplets in the piece and uh, and uh, lot of, lots of them. <laughs> and then we have the third piece which is uh, which is the Ocean's Wave. And the reason I name it after the waves is because First of all, the idea on the paper looks like a wave. It's the idea is like going this, and also I feel like the music fits the characteristics of the wave because the waves keeps reoccurring every couple of seconds, but every time is different, and uh, most of the time they are asymmetrical. So I think that really fits the music, and um, enjoy.
Hi, this is Rain. I'm here to explain the piece, the essence of quarantine, and uh, and uh, the reason why I na uh, decided to name it that way. Uh, this piece is composed during the summer vacation, and uh, it's really inspired by the whole pandemic situation during that time period. Uh, to explain the title furthermore, I divided the music into three sections. Where the first section is called the lonely. Uh, introduction section and we have the chaotic middle section and the ending section which contains a big climax and the beginning section is when I uh, introduces the main theme with piano solo to the audience and uh, it's a very lonely and uh, sad section I feel like it really represents it the time that I first came back to Shanghai and uh, I have to uh, quarantine the hotel room for 14 days, and I was I was a little bit helpless and uh, scared, and I think the music really represented that. And this chaotic section is when uh, when the time moves forward to uh, when the coronavirus really started spread all around the world, and people more people are getting more serious about them, and so the music became. Uh, uh, more complicated and have lots of more notes in general and the ending section contains a huge climax and uh, the climax has a lot of arpeggios and there's a lot of octaves and uh, it represents my wish for the pandemic to end and I hope it's gonna be ending in a good way so uh, I know it's a little bit early because I because I finished the piece in September but I think after six months later, finally in in February, there's a sign of the pandemic to end because of the vaccine, and I hope it's going to be very soon. I hope everybody is doing good and uh, enjoy.